350Zs have taken over OSW Drift's Spring Break Bash. Really not really, but really though. I wanted to talk to drivers today about mods that are their favorite that they've done on their car or that they're really proud of doing themselves. And I also wanted to see what was their most haggard or ghetto modification that they've done on their cars. We talked to four different drivers, and on the fourth one, I realized that they were all Z owners. Then, later at King of OSW, Ryan Acevedo won first place in his Z, Joseph Kapinski came in second in his Z, and Edwin Pavon came in third in his Z. So yeah, this video is kind of about Zs. I must say thank you to anyone that comes up and says hi or what's up at these events. I got so much love and people giving me props. I truly appreciate it. I just love drifting so much and I want to get better myself and see the sport grow as a whole. So let's get into talking to these guys. Drip and drift. I'm pretty pumped that I put on the Wise Fab uh, by myself. Uh, middle of the night, it was, it was it, by myself. It was a difficult task. Um, I have some messed up parts on the car, uh, but made it happen, and I mean, it's held together, and I just got an alignment, and the front was perfectly matched up, and we're talking a year later, so definitely put it in right, so I was pretty pumped about that. Favorite thing on this car is the GK Tech Super Lock Kit, super good, um, yeah, that's my favorite thing. Uh, there's nothing else really to it, pretty standard welded diff, K-Sport coilovers. Yeah, um, the Kansai wheels. Honestly, that's probably my favorite thing, to be honest with you. I love these wheels. Ever since they came out, I was like, I gotta get these. They're also super light. A lot of people don't know that. These are really light. Whoever worked on it before, they like messed up all the components inside the motor. So pretty much I had to redo everything during that situation happened where I was heating it up, heating the bolts up to loosen it, to get it out. And like I said, it was, so, it was running so rich before that it got so full of fuel. The motor literally just exploded, so I was like, I'm not even risking it, so I'm gonna just toss a new motor in this thing. So I had a spare car at the shop with this motor, it came out of automatic. I was like, you know what, let me just toss this motor in. I threw some 550cc injectors, the 85 pump, the 85, got it tuned, made 300, drove it might be like one session, and then broke the steering rack. And I mean, it's just been a few small things here and there, so down like it, time to like, kind of get it perfect I guess but it's like any car you put together last minute you're always gonna be chasing down a lot of small things that you kind of just you didn't like really overlook because you're like oh it'll be fine and then when you're out there in the car it's like oh shit then you really start feeling what you forgot to go over so the, the most proud mod would be the car itself because I have been a long time with this but the last thing that I did it take more time was the quarter panels because I have to cut the whole thing this car had been crashed before it was not even running when I got it I have to tow it the first day and then it took me a while to do that, but I did the right way. I cut the panels, I painted, everything was nice. I added with rivet nuts so I can add in and take out. This was a, a good mod. If you're liking this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want some Drip and Drift gear, go to dripanddrift.com to pick yourself up some. As far as like quick mods, I mean, practically the whole car. I had to redo the angle kit. I had to install the oil cooler while swapping in the motor. I had to rebuild the whole rear end, meaning I had to do subframe bushings, welded diff, diff bushings, all control arms, uh, wheel bearings, dual caliper bracket setup, all of that literally a week before this event. So it's like 12 hour days, you know, like early mornings, late nights, and I'm still Kind of like thinking with kind of finick with some things to kind of get it right there where i need it to be and it hasn't been bad it just thinks he's breaking on it so it's been the most annoying part haggard things like yeah it's got some some rust here and there but you know we'll get over fenders you know yeah, worry about that. Um, no i mean nothing else haggard the car's good it's just a simple simple de350z but uh, i do have a cage kits cage now so i'm gonna put that in and then we'll be doing some, some real activity. I get a mod that I did. One day, guys, do not wash race cars. Let rain do its job. I decided to wash it, and some water got into my ECU and fried the whole thing. And then, ECU got crazy. I thought I had fried because it was shorting because there was water. I took the ECU out. I did this and it was deep and drift, you know? <laughs> and then I said, well, I need to monitor this thing now. So I just bought some, some uh, voltage meters. And I installed in a bunch of wiring to measure the, the voltage, the 5 volts, the 12, 
I had problems with the TPS position, everything was going wild. And then I was monitoring those, those wires on the ECU pin by pin to mitigate where the problem was coming from. And they were my, my monitor, it's my personal dash computer management thing. And we made it, it's running back again. Well, currently right now attached to that Wise Fab <laughs> is the uh, stud that comes out of the body. And uh, that, I cut a hole in the side of the car to get in there and windowed it to spot weld it in because it fully rotated and spun out. Uh, on top of that, I have some like really thin metal plates holding my bash bar in because I've wrecked the front and it's kind of sort of tubed. Uh, and the metal is bent, so that's why my bumper sticks up. All in all, it was a great Saturday. Even though we couldn't drive ourselves, we got to talk to some amazing people, support the homies, and we got a private day lined up next week, so we'll be driving real soon. Congratulations once again to Team Door Tappers and Ryan Acevedo. All of y'all put on a fantastic show. We'll catch you next time, fam. Oh, my God.